<laughs> yes, my good brother. Greetings, greetings. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. So my name is uh, Sharif. Sharif. And uh, I'll be your guide today. Okay. And uh, I'll take you around uh, through Stone Town. And uh, the nature of our tour today, we'll be walking in Stone Town so that you can see everything. And uh, you can take uh, a photograph as much as uh, you can. Okay? So otherwise, Zanzibar is made up of two islands. So this island itself is called Umbuja. And also we have another island, it's called Pemba. So both two islands from Zanzibar. And Zanzibar was a, a British collectorate in the 18th century. But before British, the first European people came to stay here in Zanzibar were Portuguese. And Portuguese uh, spent uh, almost 200 years in East Africa. In the 17th century, Portuguese moved out and also Oman Arab came from Oman to Zanzibar. So also Oman Arabs ruled Zanzibar and we had 12 sultans, one after each. The first sultan from Oman, he was a uh, Sultan Sai Sai bin Sultan from 1804 to 1856. And uh, he had two capitals. He was a sultan in Oman as well as a sultan in Zanzibar. In 1832, he transferred his capital from Oman to Zanzibar. So he used to live here all his life. His first time to come to Zanzibar, he just came with visitors, explored all around Zanzibar, back to Oman. Second time he came for living and he started to build his uh, first palace at uh, Mtoni area, which is five kilometers away from uh, Stone Town. Its palace was really, really beautiful and it was right on the beach. But uh, unfortunately later he moved out from Tony Palace to Stone Town. And he just moved from Tony to Stone Town just for his commercial treaties in East Africa. And Stone Town was the main commercial center in East Africa by that time. So under the Sai Sai bin Sultan rule, a treaty was signed with the United States in 1833, United Kingdom 1839, France 1844, the republics of uh, Lubuk, Bremen and Hamburg in 1857, and Hungarian Empire in 1887. So by that time, Zanzibar was a world well developed into a trading metropolis in East Africa. And also Zanzibar was a state sovereignty. And soon after the 1964 revolution of Zanzibar, everything has been changed. And uh, Zanzibar and Tanganyika, which is now Tanzania, joined together as a union. And then we got the name of Tanzania between two countries. Tanganyika, T-A-N, and Zania from Zanzibar. But also, our island is not so big. Uh, Zanzibar is not so big, from north to south, 85 kilometers, east to west, 39 kilometers. And the population, according to the estimation of uh, 1992, it was 700,000, 23 is 300, but nowadays we are almost 1.7 million. And this population is for both two islands, Unguja and Pemba. Always, it's very, very green here in Zanzibar. Yeah, very, very yes. green throughout the year. Although we have a hotter season, mainly from uh, December, January, February, and a little bit in March, very, very hot and humidity. And the temperature goes up to 40 de degrees by that time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, also, our rainy season starts from uh, end of March, April, May. A lot of rain by that time. June, July, August is our winter time. And the temperature goes up to uh, 25 degrees. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Zanzibar, in general, covered by uh, Indian, Indian Ocean. Yeah, yeah. And uh, always you can swim because the temperature of the ocean is uh, 27 Celsius. So anytime you can, you can swim. So in Stone Town, because we do walking so that we can see everything, and uh, normally we're going to start with the uh, area of the former slave market. It's a place where the slaves were sold in the 18th century, and the market was an open space except a small hut can be seen. And after the market closed, the site was built a church. It's Sankan Church. So the church was built on top of a historical uh, market. So in the slave market, uh, normally we start visiting the Ankara Church where the original market once was. And after that, we will visit in the slave chamber. It's a place where the slaves have been kept in before being taken to auction. And uh, after that, we we'll visit in the slave uh, monument. And after that, we we'll finish in the slave exhibition. A lot of information in that area so that we can uh, have a time to read those uh, information. And after that, uh, we go to the Darajani market. It's a fruits and uh, vegetable market. It's a very, very nice place, a lot of people around there. But uh, in that area, in the market, there's a fish market as well as a, a beef market. But in the fish market, if you can be able to walk around, 
Hakuna Matata. You know why? Because always fish have got a strong smell. So if you can be able to walk around, there's no problem. Uh, and, uh, and after that, we do walking in our narrow streets. In our narrow streets, we can see our beautiful doors. Because here in Zanzibar, we have so many doors, but historically, we have two doors. We have Indian doors as well as uh, Arab doors. So you can see the difference between those doors. And also, Stone Town Tour includes shopping, so if you want to do shopping, also can do shopping. And uh, after that, we pass by the uh, Sultan Palace, but nowadays, nowadays it doesn't look good anymore. But we just pass by there, and after we we'll, we we'll pass by the House of Wonder. Also, the house doesn't look good anymore, but the House of Wonder was erected in 1883 by the third Sultan, Sultan Say Barash. But the Baragash was the best Sultan here in Zanzibar, and this is because it produced many things like construction of the roads, building houses and palaces, supplying of water and electricity from Sultan and suburb area, but also the one who agreed to end the slave trade. So he was uh, very, very good. Yeah, yeah. But also, we passed by the Thorodani Garden, where during the evening time it looks like an evening market. So many people and tourists are coming there to have a dinner during the evening time. It's a very, very nice place. But also we visited by the old port, where the port was built by Arabs following almost uh, two centuries of Portuguese occupation. And after that uh, we passed by the Freddie Mercury house, where he was born here in Zanzibar. Yeah. He was a musician. Oh, yeah. And uh, he was born here in Zanzibar in, 18, in 1849 and died in 1991. Yeah, yeah. So we passed by his house there. And uh, also we passed by Memory, it's a lovely shop there, a lot of uh, things in that uh, shop. And uh, we are going to finish our tour in the Africa House, former English club yeah, in the 19th century. And also there's a lovely restaurant there, if you can have uh, lunch there, there's no problem. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata, so That's all this morning, so any question you can ask. Yeah, what I'll say in between the schedule, yeah. Uh, pos position us in a situation where we can go have lunch at six degrees uh, south. Yeah, that's no problem. Uh, so to, to where we can... Did you book already or there's no booking? No, it's no booking with this. Uh, yeah, okay. Here. We can go straight because uh, now there's no more, not many tourists at the moment. So any any place you can go, there's no problem. Uh, yeah, uh, so that way you can work a sequence for us to move around smoother and uh, get some lunch and... Yeah, yeah. And even the House of Wonders, uh, Bring us there and then just uh, give us a nice little lecture about I'll, the place. I'll take you every place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, every place. But also, I, I forgot to the Tip Tip House. It's just me and nearby uh, Africa House, 60 degrees there. Tip Tip is a man who organized a uh, slave trade illegally after the abolition of the slave trade here in Zanzibar. So, still can uh, see his wife. But uh, always he took the slave and put them in the north of Zanzibar, a place called Mangapani. So, Mangapani is a big natural cave as well as a slave chamber. So he used to hide them there, then he put them in the Dow, transferred straight to Arab countries by that time. And he died here in Zanzibar in 1905. Yeah. But you still can see his house in Stone Town. Yeah. Yeah. Any more questions? 